Hi, welcome back to Fruitful Minutes. We're diving into another Q&A video, going over some commonly asked questions from our customers at the stores. We have Dr. Kelly and Jessica from our education team. So shall we get started, ladies? Sorry. All right. So first question, essential oils question. Hmm. Are your essential oils ingestible? Food grade. Yeah. So a lot of people come in because maybe some other brands out there offer food grade options. Mm -hmm. um, now Foods is um, the primary uh, essential oils that we carry. Now Solutions. Um, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, and not necessarily bad, but um, they are not labeled for food grade. So we can never, as an employee, advise anybody on how to use them that right. way. However, right. we did bring in another brand, the Ancient Apothecary brand, yeah. um, and we purposely brought those in for people who were looking to use them as yes. in that way, um, which you can also use those externally or in aromatherapy right. diffusers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they, we don't have nearly as many options as in the Now brand, um, but we did have them um, for the people that were looking for them. And so, when it comes yeah. to the food grade, it's just like – it's just a matter of how it's processed then? I mean, is... Well, and how it's labeled and how you're directing the consumer to use it. So okay. if it's not labeled to tell you how to use it, we can't Strictly just generically topical, say put right. one drop, five right. drops. Okay. And they're very, very concentrated. So people can't be ingesting like teaspoons of this. Right. right. You know, it's literally, even if you were to cook with essential oils that were food grade, you're literally using drops. You're not using teaspoons, half teaspoon. And definitely not straight in the tongue. Absolutely not. Right. Yeah. No. And the ones, the ones that are labeled that are food grade that are consumable they're actually labeled as a supplement right oh, so it's just okay. a very different classification the now products are body care products right. so they are labeled as such okay which right. is why we can't say anything about sure. internal use yeah. versus the other ones are supplemental labeled okay so they did have to probably pay some extra money to get them verified as mm -hmm. a supplement okay. to then have that extra stuff on the label and like jessica said it's literally it says one drop in water you know like mm -hmm. it's a very diluted amount yes. that you're doing right yes. not tons right okay. so even even when people are going to be using them internally please read the labels it should tell you very specifically right. okay. what you should be doing as a safe use if yeah. you go off label that's risky yes right got it okay next question um oh this is a good one why is xylitol used in so many dental products i thought it was a sweetener right which it is because it is <laughs> yeah. right like we sell xylitol right you can bake with it cook right with, right, cook with, right put right. your coffee mm -hmm. right it is in so many dental products mm -hmm. because there's actually tons of research done by dental um facilities that um it actually helps with the bacteria balance in the mouth mm -hmm. right which is really cool it also pulls uh fluid into the area so right. it helps keep the mouth moist um but it also it generally helps with the bacteria balance okay which is why like when this customer is saying in all your products because i've seen it in gum there's literally an entire line mm -hmm. with just mm -hmm. dental gum with xylitol yeah. mm -hmm. um Toothpaste is a big one, obviously. Mouthwash, even. Yeah. 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 Wow. Well, yep. Okay. It's in tons of the dental care products because it's actually good for dental health. Dual purpose. Even though it's sweet because people are like, oh, it's sweet. Right. So it's Seems ratting your teeth. You guys are really promoting. Right. It's actually balancing for the bacteria in the mouth, which is great. Yeah. Because a lot of kids, you know, especially the kids' toothpastes, right? Mm -hmm. Sweeter. But it's xylitol Definitely. Based. Definitely. Safer. All right. Well, that was an easy one. Um, last one. What can activated charcoal do? There are so many options. So, yeah. I mean, we've got it in face masks, right. obviously straight powder, capsules, um, toothpaste. Right. Yeah. So people are using the powder to either make a face mask or a tooth whitening powder or toothpaste. Mm -hmm. We have those products pre-made. Um, it's a detoxifier. Okay. It's a binder right. to toxins. So we have capsules that people take internally. Um, say if they think they have food poisoning or some kind of pathogens floating right. around, it helps kind of bind those up and get them out of the system faster. It helps with teeth whitening. Again, pulling toxins. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the thing, right? Some people will buy the powder to use it for all of the above. Yeah. And that way, you know, I've heard, I've seen recipes for uh, black lemonade where they're mixing activated charcoal and <gasps> Oh, you know what? Lemonade. I've seen black oh. lattes, actually. Yes. I've right. seen the charcoal lattes. Char we have a tea that has activated charcoal that's in right. it as well, mm -hmm. right? So it's being incorporated into all these things yes. now for detoxification enhancement. Okay. So really, the purpose is the same in these different platforms, but there's just kind of a variety out there because it's... I mean, honestly, there's many universal. applications. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. versatile. And it is the same stuff. You know, a, a lot of the times back in the day, we only had capsules. 
right? All these other products are newer. Mm -hmm. um, and so before it was like, oh, just get the capsules, open it up, make your face mask or yeah. make your tooth whitening powder. Yeah. Um, now those things come pre-made already or you can just buy the powder itself yeah. without the capsules, without having to but worry about function. it. The same function. Mm -hmm. Same stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the scoop, ladies. Um, hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about what we talked about or anything else, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a direct message or leave it in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you on the next Fruitful Minute.